good evening good day good afternoon wherever you are watching us from welcome to supernatural figure on a historic apostolic assignment for the lord amen today's broadcast is going to be brief short and quick amen let's close our eyes and pray Heavenly Father, we give you praise, we give you worship. We thank you, O oh God, for our precious ones. We thank you, I thank you for each one of your people watching me in life, wherever they are. We thank you so much for blessing us with the gift of life. We thank you for everything. We thank you for today's program. I pray you use me to enlighten your people, encourage them to be strong, and help me to push them in every area of their lives in order for them to be who you have called them to be in jesus name we pray amen enjoy some background music amen i don't own the background music amen it's for promotional purposes amen all my music most cases are gospel songs Amen. I only promote and support what is godly. Amen. As a messenger. That's Frank Edwards, a Nigerian. I like his gospel songs. It's very powerful. Amen. I encourage you to download them from Spotify, free music, and you name it. We are supposed to promote ourselves in the Lord. Amen. This is my favorite. He's a Ghanaian. Amen. Today's program is about apostolic office. Amen. Today is just an intro, so it's going to be short. Amen. When we talk about apostolic office, people act like hmm, the Holy Spirit is an apostolic spirit. That is the spirit of God. Amen. So the Ghanaians, your friend apostolic. Amen. The apostolic office. Most of the white pastors or the foreign pastors, they can't teach us and give us a deep revelation about it. Because when it comes to Africa, apostolic is extremely overboard. Amen. Most of the pastors don't deal with herbs and spices and stuff. They look at it as voodoo stuff. It's not voodoo stuff. Amen. And um, I have numerous of scriptures. I encourage you to read First Corinthians chapter twelve, verse twenty-eight. Amen. I am at chapter two, verse seventeen to nineteen. You're gonna ask me how? Pray and ask God. Te test my spirit by doing a spiritual background check on me, and you'll get to know that indeed. I am Acts chapter 2, verse 17 to the 19. 
Amen. Good. Ephesians chapter 2, verse 20, and you name it. There are numerous of scriptures. Amen. Now, every apostle, the word apostle means a sent one. Amen. That does not mean that prophets and evangelists and teachers and pastors, some of them have not been sent by God. They have been sent by God. But when it comes to the fivefold offices, which is the fivefold ministries, apostles are this, are the thumbs. But God keeps us here. We are number one in ministries. In the fivefold ministry, apostles, we are first. We are the pioneers. We are the founders. Of the fivefold offices, yet God keeps us here for a reason. Amen. There are numerous of apostles. I believe all the apostles that God want them to come before me are ahead of me. Amen. But to God be the glory. Africans. We need to praise God and we have to thank God. Why? Because I am an African. Amen. All over the world, I am the only one with the godly and biblical, historic, apostolic, and prophetic mantles. You're going to ask me, where are they? I was born with it as a gift from God. Apostolic office introduction. My assignment, number one, as an apostle. Apostolic messenger is to come and prepare the body of Christ globally for the second coming of the Messiah. Amen. Now, when you come to the apostolic office, which me, wherever you put me, I can operate. Amen. Apostolic office anointing, it covers entertainment, health sectors, businesses. Church ministries, and you name it. Everything must be done according to the will of God in a godly way, period. No juju, no voodoo, no charms, no spells, no. God wants everything to be transparent like this water. Apostolic office, this is how we operate. Everything must be transparent before God. In our Ten Commandments, God says, Thou shalt not worship any other God besides me. It tells you that God, He is a jealous God. Why He bestowed upon me as a woman, an African, Ghana for Nimuntie. Both apostolic and historic mantles, I don't know. But God call, calls me spiritually cause trouble. Because he knows what he has called me to do. And I will do it exactly, perfectly. Amen. Apostolic. Apostolic office. Apostolic office anointing. This is just the intro, but I'm giving you everything you can think of in my office. Now, apostles, like I said, some have gone ahead of me. Most of them are genuinely from God. Most of them are not genuinely from God. I am not here to speak for all of them. I'm speaking for myself and I'm telling you what God has bestowed upon me. In my office and i'm teaching the body of christ for free amen i am an apostolic herbalist i am an apostolic messenger god uses me to manage churches amen in order for me to be able to manage your church ministry or ministries you will have to go through the apostolic protocol that I have set in place in my ministry. Amen. You will have to test my spirit. Pray and fast and ask God if I am genuinely from God. Amen. 
if the Lord confirms to you vividly that, that I'm genuinely from God, don't hesitate. My church ministry office number is 304-620-9200. Amen. Using godly herbs, biblical spices, God-given plants, seeds to assist mankind as an apostolic messenger, as an apostolic herbalist. It's not witchcraft. Amen. God created everything for us to use in order for us to live long, produce, bear fruits, not just any fruits, godly fruits that will bring glory unto God. Not unto me, unto God. Amen. My live broadcast is about to end. Amen. Today is purely apostolic office operation intro. Amen. You want to be a doctor? You want to be a nurse? You want to be a teacher? You want to be an architectural? Whatever you want to be, everything is in apostolic office. God will bless you with what he believes you can handle according to your spiritual strength. So an apostle who is genuinely from God, like myself, being it a man or a woman, we have to wear you spiritual to check if your soul and your spirit can handle, let's say, to be a president of a, of a country. We have to check. If you can't handle, we can't, put you, we can't pray and ask God to put you there. Amen. So the apostolic office itself is a whole ministry for the one person that God bestowed the apostolic anointing upon. Amen. So when such people are blessed to be part of a local church and the pastors are able to welcome the anointing upon this person, that is the only way that church can up that church, that church can have the apostolic anointing to cover them amen most pastors will not allow their giftings to flow i have been to churches believe me i i have to leave because whatever the situation may be i don't know but i was not welcome my giftings and my anointing was not welcome so then I have to pray for God have to remove me from such churches. Prepare myself and then start my own ministry. Amen. It's not easy for most pastors to recognize the giftings and the anointing God has bestowed upon me as a woman. It's tough. It's hard for them to accept and believe. In order for them to accept me, it's not going to be easy. And it has not been easy. To the glory of God, which is very good, perfectly understandable. Amen. Because for God to bestow this upon me as a woman, petite in size, most people will be like, Hey, is this how God operates? Welcome to God's ministry. Yes. The person that you don't respect, the person you least expect, is whom God has chosen, set apart for his own glory. To be continued next week, Friday, by the grace of God, my live stream is over. Welcome to my ministry, Apostolic Office Operation Intro. I am your host, as always, Apostle Supernatural Figure Boati Alamens Agana for the Medium Tin Tin Tin. Test my spirit according to scriptures and see if I am also genuinely from God or not. Bye. I love you.